Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I have something exciting for you guys today. It's going to be something a little bit different. I just recently bought a brand new 2019 GTI. Oops, I mean, this is GTI right here. And today we're going to take it out for a photo shoot. So let's go. Hey guys, I just stopped at some random road. Um, I mean, the weather today is really nice, it's really cloudy, it's not a lot of sun, um, and look at this place. So I think we're going to get some pretty good shot, so let's go. Alright, so right now I'm just trying to figure out my compositions. Uh, I actually really like these two trees right here. I can, I think I can be used, I think they can be used as a really good background. I also like that tree over there, and also that tree. So I think I'm going to use them as a backdrop for the car so let's do this okay so for this first shot i'm thinking i'm gonna be using that tree place it on the left side of the composition place the car right here we have the leading line of the road leading up to the car and i think it's gonna turn out to be a pretty good shot so let me move the car and we'll find out all right then we got the car settled let's start shooting all right guys, before we do all that jazz, how about I'll play you some B-roll of the car, because you know, I love my car. So for this composition, I'm trying to use the leading lines on the road right here to lead up to the car. It's kind of cutting off the car right here, which I don't like. But I think it draws enough attention to the car. And also, I'm using the tree to kind of balance it out. You know, when you're trying to use a rule of third, you always want to put one subject right here on the line of rule of third, and then another one on uh, the other side to balance it out. So let me take a couple of shots. Uh, I'm using uh, today. I'm using a Sony A7 III, and I'm using a really cheap Samyang 24 millimeter lens 2.8. Uh, let's see how it turns out. So far, there's two things I don't like about this composition. One is that the lens is too wide, so it's kind of distorting the back of the car right there. If I go this way, it looks a bit better, but then the row is hidden, so you don't see the row as much. So we're missing the, the leading line aspect right here. If I go this way, then I don't see much of the back of the car, but I see more of the row. So what I'm thinking is either I can rotate the car a little bit, or maybe I can use my 35 to also bring in the tree to compress the tree bring it in a little bit more and hopefully um, de-escalate this back situation right here now you guys can see it's much better in the back I can still see some of the road the back doesn't look as like distorted anymore um, it's much more balanced composition now oh, I'm using a uh, Sigma 35 um, 1.4 so let me take a couple of shot and see how it turns out Now we're gonna go for like a low angle look. We don't have the leading lines anymore, but I think it's fine. All right, furthermore guys, uh, I'm shooting with a pretty low aperture today. Um, I'm still new to car photography, so I don't know how usually car photographies are shot. Um, but for me, I shoot portraits a lot, and I usually use a uh, low aperture for my portrait, and I also like to use the same thing for car photography. So I'm just gonna try it out today, see how it turns out. And you know, just let me know in the comments how I'm doing. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. So there are two things that I really love about the interior of the car. The first thing is that the stick shift is literally a golf ball. Look at this. And the second thing is that is uh, the texture on the seat. Look how classy that is. All right, so I want to highlight those features and let's see what we can do. All right, for this shot, I think I'm going to go with a top-down composition. I'm going to play the stick shift in the middle. We have this texture of the seats, which complement with the collars and the stick shift really well as well. So let's see how it turns out. So I just pulled up my trunk, and it's revealing this really cool back shot of the, the car from the back view right here. So let me take a couple of shots. Oh, and by the way, if you're a fan of the car like I am, uh, I'm going to be posting these pictures to my own site so you can use them as your wallpaper or anything you want. They're going to be completely for free. All right, with that said, we're going to move on to the next composition. I've moved the car to this spot right here. And I'm thinking I'm using that tree in the background. We're going to have a straight-on shot of the car with that tree in the background to complement it. 
and let's see how it turns out okay you know what i think i'm gonna do something now because this composition does not look good at all that tree is not doing anything in the background the cars just look out of place um, let me see what i can do all right so i think when i focus on this portion of the car we have this clean sky just you know bringing out the shape of the car right here i mean these in the back cars are kind of distracting but i think i think this composition is okay so to check the shot i'm really gonna underexpose the background a little bit to bring out the details in the sky and also since i'm shooting sideways only the side of the car is parallel to the camera pretty much so i'm gonna be shooting at a f1.8 to really make the shadow of the field stand out okay next i want to get a shot of the back of the car and again we have this evil looking tree really complimenting the back um, Car. I kind of like how really aggressive the back of the car look so it's kind of you know going really well with the uh, the evil looking theme over here okay I think I like that shot uh, I'm gonna get back in the car drive it around a bit more find one more location and continue the shoot I found myself the next location uh, I'm gonna park the car right here I'm gonna be on that side shooting across and I'm gonna get a side view of the car there's a lot of traffic passing by well, once in a while, so I gotta be careful. All right, let's do this. Again, let's go for a low angle shot. Super shallow did the feel. I kind of like how there's a yellow line from the, from the road going across right there. I think I hear a car coming. All right, I think I found my last location for the day. We have this beautiful tree with all the moss or whatever they are, the green things on the trees. I'm gonna place the car right here, get a couple side view shots. I'm thinking I'm gonna turn it around, have the head facing that way, the back's this way, have the wheel turn to the left a little bit, and let's start it guys. Actually, before anything else, I want I want you guys to hear the sound. It's just so perfect. Okay, this composition is looking pretty good. Got all these branches growing out on the top. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool, but it would look cooler if I just move the car up a little bit this way. Have the tree right in the middle of the car. Have all these branches spread out evenly throughout the whole car. I think it's going to look really nice. We got our composition. Let's get started. Okay, next composition. I want to get a back profile shot of the car. With the wheel turning, like I said before, to the left a little bit. With the tree in the background. So let's get started guys. Get a shot of these red brake calipers right here. And of course the back wheel. Alright, now comes the finale. Let's do the last shot. I think I'm gonna turn the car facing me directly this way with the tree in the background. I'm gonna use my 85 millimeter. Really compress that tree. Really bring out detail front panels right here of the car. First, before pulling out the 85, I'm gonna take a shot with my 35 first. And now shooting with the 85, and you can see the car is really compressed. Everything looks really good. Uh, let's get started before anybody run me over. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, smash the like button. And if you really like the picture taken in this video, um, all of them is going to be available for free on my website. You can download them for free, use them for your wallpaper, anything you want. Uh, with that said, peace.